Okay, okay, it's okay. It's all right, guys. I'm in Houston and I'm about to beat this face for a little coffee date. I've never been able to master the no makeup makeup look. I don't know if we were successful this time. Let me know in the comments. But with that being said, I'm gonna try to see how I do it. I'm trying some new products. I got some tips and tricks for y'all as far as what I use to pack up all my makeup and how I make it effortless and compact. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I have had this like travel case for a long time. And I remember when I used to have this big or like larger case that was almost like a suitcase. And I was like, man, like this takes up so much room. So I bought these matching, I got like three pair. One is for hair, skin, makeup, and they look like this. And basically they house everything. And all I have to do is kind of open it up. Yeah. And it has everything that I really need for makeup and traveling. For this video, I'm going to get coffee today. I want to do kind of like a light beat. I haven't decided if I want to do lashes or not, but every time I think about an elevated look, I put lashes on for light beats. I kind of just do my mascara. So um, I want to show y'all what I believe is like travel friendly um, as far as makeup goes um, that would fit into like smaller makeup containers. So I am going to do my eyebrows off camera, but I'm using the brow wigs. From Anastasia and you can use like your favorite concealer. So this has been my tried and true go-to primer. I realized like using mattifying stuff is not helpful to my skin. I have what I thought is combination skin, but it's clearly maybe more on the dry side, especially around like my cheekbones and like my lower half of my face. Hydrating Primer by Milani. Y'all, they sell this in Target. Like, I, I got, I think I had got mine from Ulta or something, but now they are in Target. So I'm able to just pick this up when I'm like going to the grocery store or like getting stuff from Target if I'm running out. And it lasts really long. I don't even remember the last time like I purchased this one. And this is a new one, but I'm still trying to get through the first one has hyaluronic acid, which is super hydrating ingredient and coconut water in it. Okay, so I have the Color Perfect Found Detent in Baton, the Black Radiance that I'm using that I got from Target as my foundation. We're going for light coverage here, so I'm just going to take this and put it all over my face. I think it's full coverage, so probably typically we'll wanna use like a sponge, but I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit first and then go in with the sponge to make it look more natural. Um, while I am getting, I'm doing my makeup, I'm watching a movie, uh, maybe even a documentary now that I watched Jackie on this video. Got me like, girl, you need to be educating yourself. Be doing something constructive for that mind. Y'all, for the most part, I really think this blends really well. I'm gonna go over this spot because I got a little dark spot that I didn't um, correct or anything. But for the most part, I think I think I, think I did coverage, you feel me? Okay, what do y'all think of the color? Is it matching? It's a little more like orangey red than like my complexion, but it's workable. So I'm gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last original uh, natural setting spray. It's like super hot here in uh, Houston. So I'm gonna make sure this baby sticks. Honey. I have another foundation stick that's a little darker than my skin tone. And I kind of want to see what it looks like as a contour. Um, so here it is. 
barely noticeable. So is that the vibe we're going for or what? I got Juvia's Place. I don't know if that's giving enough highlight for me, but it's Juvia's Place number 11, their concealer. But I also had Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. Because again, we're trying to do not too much, not too much, a little highlight action. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush that I use for my foundation. Right off the bat, it blends into this pretty well, but it, it gives a little contour, but it's giving a little bronze. Like it's not giving like full snatchy, atchy, atchy, you know? So I'm gonna blend this out while I watch my movie. Is there something you'd like to say, Daniel? As a matter of fact, there is. I mean, you're my woman. And that is the choice that you repeatedly make for yourself, so excuse me. Wow, okay. Um, I'll be outside. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're okay? You're okay? I mean, I didn't know my being happy would piss so many people off. You said the... Yeah. Actually, the, they said dick. Then there's that guy in band. Tell your mom I turn 18 in a month. So, yeah, that's how my day was. Our relationship, like, I can't do it anymore. Okay. It's just. It's like this. Okay, every time I do my eyebrows first, I end up having to go back in and just touch them up. So I'm gonna touch them up. My favorite part of my makeup routine is my blush. See, it just elevates a look, man. Makes you look like, makes you look kind of like a little, little cartoon character. And I got like large cheeks. So look, already. My cheeks are so pronounced that I feel like they just bring the look all the way together, no? See? <laughs> mm. Okay, and then I need to take some powder to these lids because I forgot to do that. I didn't do no um, eyeshadow, so. Today I'm going to try Big Timer Voluminizing Mascara with Vitamin B5 after I set my face, sorry. Whoops. That's it. Get my fan. I hope it looks as good in the camera as it looks. <laughs> as far as the no makeup makeup look, I could have went without the like highlighter, the second highlighter. So I'll take note of that. We're gonna go in with one size. Yeah. We're set down now. Back to the mascara. I'm gonna take my brow pen and I'm going to define these brows. No. What the? F okay, okay, it's okay. It's all right, guys. We are gonna clean that up. That rarely happens. Ugh. I'm so annoyed by that. That rarely happens, guys. So 
So let that dry a little bit. Throw in some concealer. I want to try this because it seems like a lighter lippy pencil. This is by ColourPop. And I think it'd be good for like the vibe I'm going for as far as a no makeup makeup, but it might actually be doing too much. Let's just go ahead and clean this up first. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this foundation stick and clean that up. I'm mad about it. Okay, clean. Okay, so we're gonna try this lip gloss. I'm a fan, guys. I don't know. I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this lip combo because it's new. But I, I think it's I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Last but not least, we're gonna go back in with that same blush and I'm gonna do some highlighter. Y'all may not think the powder highlighter is still in. And I know I seen the girls say we still doing it. We got a pocket, but I guess I'm gonna just have to be out of pocket. Do prefer powder, and it's primarily because I don't really know how to use the liquid uh, just yet. So yeah, oh, Brian's. <laughs> think of the finish look should I start doing some little makeup wow I heard y'all like what the girl face be looking like but I just be trying stuff okay I'm not your regular smegular person that's gonna teach you how to do makeup but you may find some inspo from the things that I use and some of the things that I say so if y'all want to see more makeup routines or just you know things like this when it comes to the beat, be sure to subscribe, number one. Number two, comment below, let me know. And let's get this video to 100 likes. The more you engage with it, the more YouTube pushes it. So, mm. and don't forget to check out the links in the description. You already know I got all the details for you. So if you haven't already watched the vlog from when I went to Houston, be sure to check that out right here. And I will see y'all on my next upload. It is your girl, Les Latrice. And remember to always protect your peace.